Hello Facebook users, my name is Maggie and today I want us to talk about making Facebook productive for you. I know most of us spend a lot of time on Facebook but there is a way you can make that time productive for you as much as you are just enjoying. You can learn from Facebook or from Facebook posts. I will show you how. So I run two blogs, your online freelancing solution where I share tips on online freelancing and I do do-it-yourself projects, fashion, home decor and so on and so forth and I have a YouTube channel where I upload all my videos. You might want to have a look at that. So uh, the difference between learning from Facebook and Google is that on Google you must have your keywords. What do you want to learn about? Maybe online freelancing or you want to learn about what is happening in the US and so on and so forth. So for Google and other search engines, you need to have your keywords. On Facebook, however, you can learn without searching for anything. So this is my page, not my page, my profile. And if I want to share any of the posts that I have posted before, like the Upwork thing, I can just go ahead and share so that I don't have to redo the posts again. Now, when you're going through Facebook, whether it is your free time, your fun time or whatever, you can still learn a lot. Chances are most of you learned about online freelancing from other people's posts. And then you decided to check out what it's all about. So this is what I do when I'm just scrolling down, up and down. I will take note of posts that are interesting to me. So some little back of, some little history of how I learned this. Initially I would see posts and then see like a hundred comments with F. Now I would really try to figure out what F meant. Uh, whether it was follow, following, foolish, feel, the other word. Until I, I learned that people were actually trying to follow to see what happens. Now, the issue with just putting an F is that you will have to scroll up and down once you come back and you might lose your posts. So what I noticed is that you can turn on notifications. If something is of interest to me, for instance, this post on iWriter payment, now, iWriter is a, an online company that hires freelancers and sometimes there are some issues with payment. Sometimes people are new and they don't have some information. So this is of interest to those who are new to online freelancing or those who've already been there but are having issues. Now, I could just type F and my computer is frozen. Or I will just click here and say turn on notifications. See they are on. So even if I log out, whether I lose my internet connection, as long as anyone posts something here, I will get notified and I can see. Because some of, some of the times people will talk about more than this I write up. Because if you are talking about online companies, chances are somebody is going to ask about another company and I might want that information. So that is one I would probably check a new post like this one was posted by someone. So I clicked and I got the link. Now for such, I might want to save. I told you I learn from Facebook a lot. So for this one, because I don't want to spend all my time reading this, I will click Control S, which is save that link so that when I'm ready, I will come back to it later. 
So I have a folder for online staff. So I will click that, open. See, I have a lot of resources. So that whenever I want to check out something that I had seen a month or two ago, I will just come to my resources and I click and then I can read about this. So that is saved. And then something else that is of interest to me. Well, while that page loads, I have more pages. So these, see Facebook is not only for, for learning. Sometimes you might see something that is of interest to you. So I saw this click that was shared by someone. I clicked on it. So because motherhood is of interest to me. So I, it's quite a lengthy one, but for now I'll just save it as I did the other. Maybe I save it on desktop. Sometimes I might be writing some articles for a client or for my blogs about motherhood and I might need to refer to this. And I will move on. Uh, now, sometimes you just see a post and it is of absolute interest to you. This Upwork, I joined Upwork last week. And to see someone who's had an experience of four years, uh, I want to see the comments. Plus, I might need to consult. Mm, I had already put the notifications on, so there I go. I might need to consult with him. He's done quite some work. And he's had very good experience. And since I am new, I might want to interact with people who already have this much knowledge. So that the good luck they have and the good work they have can rub off on me. And then we have another one. This is now for online freelancers. Uh, there's this. This is a great group. And then there's this post I came across. See, it is dated January. So anything that has to do with online information, I will see more information and it is going to take some while to load. But I can just turn on notifications for this. See, a lot of people were interested in this. So my notifications are on. There are many comments. So lots of people are talking about this and contributing very, very nice information. So for me, I might want to come back later to this because I cannot, as much as I think I have a good brain, I cannot internalize all the information at once from all these websites. So I need to keep tab of what I want and then I can come back to later. So here is the post. Now before I started my blog, actually this is the post that got me starting my blogs and thinking seriously about my YouTube channel and so on and so forth. So I read this and then there was this, I clicked on this and then they got all these tips and links. So I clicked on all these links and I saved all these links. And I subscribed to Writers in Charge and I got great uh, information which I have saved and I go back to once in a while because I need to check something. It's a lengthy post but it's the best thing I ever read. See, most people are talking about it. I started and I think I'm grateful that Walter shared this. Thank you, Walter. Uh, more posts that I want. So for some, you can just click.
click save you save that website or you can turn on notifications so that you still get information in the future so this group is called youtube the youtube money making challenge it was started by david mbokwa and now i have lost my post just a moment is that please bear with me uh -huh. here it is now this i did not even know there was a way to find out where your youtube channel ranks so i, I found this and for such i, I just sorry See, more information is provided, so I will turn on notifications for this. Then I can keep on learning. And then there is, let me close some of these windows. I have so many windows open. Then there is this one. So I check posts whether they are from veterans. Those are people who've already been in the industry for a long time. And also from newbies. Because sometimes they will ask a question in an area or in a field that I have not ventured into. And the kind of feedback they get is very important to me. So sometimes you face issues like somebody refuses to pay and they want to know what happens or how they can get justice. So I might want to see this. Maybe you're working for yourself, but someday you might be working for someone and you might need some of the tips that are provided for this lady. So I will turn on this and then, so anything related to online freelancing, whether it is information, whether it is internet, whether it is gadgets, like your laptops or anything, it is good information for me. I like to be informed. And then there is this one uh this person is spending this much money now internet is an issue for all those who work online and since in kenya there are so many service providers with different packages and different people live in different areas that means reception for some of these networks may not be so good so sometimes people seek advice on which is the best so this one i am very interested in because as much as i am in a place where my internet is relatively good i might someday move to another place and i need to know the solutions so if you could scroll down this that is if you have time if you don't since you turned on your notifications you can back come back later so see lots of responses and then safaricom advantage then there's airtel and somebody else i'm sure is suggesting something else so since i cannot and i do not want to internalize all this information right now i am working on something so i turned on my notifications i can come back later and then some more questions i will turn on this because i know people work on sites that i have not even heard of so i will save i had already turned on so i'm good to go so i am sure i already shared some with uh this lady because i know several sites like Upwork, I writer, freelancer, and others. But I will keep following to see which other sites other people are suggesting, and then I can already go and check. So that is how you learn on Facebook. And if you find some interesting posts about anything you like in this world, you can turn on notifications, or you can save if it you're getting images let me show you how you save images 
uh, like this now this is an update let's see if I have a post that has an image a Facebook post with an image mm -hmm. let me see what I have so this is an image so you click on the image here it is you right click on your mouse and then you click save image as and then because if you save all your images with these big digits you'll never know which one is which so i could say this was githeri man and then he had a new bag it was about a plastic the plastic bags ban and then i will save so it is important for you for your own future reference to type out the name of your image so that you can remember it quickly and i can go back so i had used this image as a thumbnail for my content that was on the recent plastic bags ban in kenya so if you find any other images like the memes we see around and you want to save so that you can use it later you write you click on it then you right click your mouse and you save your image so that is it enjoy facebook make sure you learn as much as possible don't keep your mind closed and i am not saying that you spend all your time on facebook if you have some other work like online tasks or you have a day job do the best that you can but when you're on facebook also make sure that as much as you get your fun as much as you do whatever else you want to do if you can find something that is worthy of your learning please save it turn on notifications and you can learn all the best kindly subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos i will be uploading videos regularly now so all the best